This little breeze is nice. It is. Every year, they gather at Pike Park for a caravan to honor 12-year-old Santos Rodriguez. Hi, Jackie, so well. But this year was different. Led by police chief Eddie Garcia, Santos's mother was escorted by police motorcade to Oakland Cemetery, where her son is buried. Do you know where Bessie is? Where the family parked? Te quiero dar esto. Once they arrived, Garcia gave Bessie Rodriguez flowers. I'm not going to let her fall on my watch. And walked her past her son's grave. I'm so sorry. Um, this was the first history lesson that I got when I got here. I don't think that even the word assassinated is strong enough. One by one, community activists spoke about the injustice of Santos' death. We're gathered here today to remember a young boy, Santos Rodriguez, who was at the age of 12, taken from us in a most cruel way. He was shot in the head by a Dallas police officer while he was handcuffed in the back seat of a squad car. His brother David was sitting next to him. His last words on earth to his murderer were, I'm telling the truth. Flanked by the entire Dallas police command staff. Chief Eddie Garcia. Chief Garcia did what no other Dallas police chief has done, Nosotros apologized to Santos's mother. On behalf of the Dallas Police Department, as a father, I am sorry. We are sorry that someone entrusted to protect you, someone who wore the same uniform that I proudly wear today, took your son and took David's brother away by way of murder. It took nearly half a century for the family and community to hear those words from someone at DPD. Uh, apology is the least that we can do. And again, I'm, I'm surprised it's taken this long. For Bessie, the apology was something she longed for. It was real special, Carlos. you know, everything. Thank you. Everything Thank you. that happened today. And being a part of it. For the community, it was a milestone. It also meant that what Dr. King said years ago about the moral arc of the universe uh, being long, but it bends towards justice. Santos Rodriguez died as a child, voiceless, but now has a powerful voice that has brought about change faith in us. and reconciliation. God bless you, Bessie, and all those that we made suffer, and David, and God bless you, Santos. Thank you. In Dallas, I'm Rebecca Lopez.